Hello and welcome to another Twit for Media special interview. I'm your host, Jaco Whitting, and today I am joined by Mr. Ron Grant, a man of many hats, but today in the capacity of the event organizer of the Suns in Suits brunch, which was held over the past weekend. Of course, he's a distinguished gentleman, so he'll be taking us through everything that went down for the event and what's next for his brand. Stay tuned, you don't want to miss it. VI Motors is having a major auto sale on all parts. What? Come on out to our Dust Bottoms location on Friday the 30th of June from 8 o'clock to 5 o'clock p.m. to enjoy 20% off all filters, including filters that are compatible with Kenworth tractors, Mac, and excavators. Get major discounts on tires. And yes, we even have tires for forklifts. Big discounts on tools, batteries, generators, car accessories, lubricants, and much more parts and supplies. This is VI Motors' way of saying thank you for all your support over the yeah. So come on now to VI Motors on Friday, June 30th from 8 o'clock to 5 o'clock and enjoy some great music, great food, and great giveaways. All while you capitalize on our massive auto parts sale. See you there. Yes! Welcome back and thank you so much for staying with us. And of course, Ron, thank you for being here. Hey, Jaka. No problem at all. Thanks for having me. All right. Now, let's get straight into yes. things because... That was the events to be at for Father's Day weekend. So tell us how Definitely. everything went. So the Suns and Suits, uh, just so that we recap, was held on the 17th this past Saturday at Treasure Isle Hotel. And we were honored. The Art of a Distinguished Gentleman brand was honored to uh, really welcome uh, almost 100 persons uh, from all different walks of life, fathers, uh, their sons. We also had grandparents, uh, mothers and daughters there, just really community-oriented persons uh, supporting men of all different industries in this journey of fatherhood. And to be honest with you, it was a bit overwhelming because it was so mm -hmm. uh, well-supported and uh, we are so thankful for the many persons that came out. Of course, later on, we're gonna get an opportunity to talk about the sponsors and their support, yeah. but it was a phenomenal event. Um, of course, since then, we've had persons uh, already asking uh, what's next, which we can also speak about. But just to recap, a full morning of enrichment, entertainment. Um, we also had some surprises, as you know, uh, but Mr. Uh, Jamali Thomas was our official DJ. We had mm -hmm. uh, some really exciting performances by Johante Smith, oh, as yeah. well as Che Pemberton uh, on the tap dancing. Uh, the meal, of course, a scrumptious meal, and each attendee was able to go away with a gift bag that included some uh, really intricate uh, hand-selected items, along with some branding from CCT and Twit4 Media, who is one of our platinum sponsors. So uh, as the creator and host of The Art of a Distinguished Gentleman, really pleased uh, to be able to have hosted this event. And I want to take this opportunity to thank all the attendees for coming up. All right, amazing. Now. The event, like you mentioned, included great entertainment. Like, let's delve into that a bit more, because I know one of the highlights of the event was the tribute to yes. the fathers who are no longer with us by Johansi. Yes. So, take us into what went through your head when you were planning out how you wanted things to unfold. Well, that's a great question, Jaka. I am a creative myself, of course, um, an artist as well. Um, some persons may not know, uh, but if you catch me on a good day and I feel like singing, I, I would I would do it. Uh, mm -hmm. But really encompassing and opening opportunities to introduce our young men to a variety of aspects. And when I say that, I mean sometimes we're so stuck on the traditional uh, forms of careers and industries mm -hmm. and I think it's important as a creative to make sure and most importantly as a father to make sure that we are introducing our young men and our children in general so our yeah. girls too to the endless opportunities that may be out there and that's where we hand selected uh, these two young men Johansi Smith who is an exceptional vocalist and Che Pemberton who is a tap dancer uh, to really project that it's not a traditional uh, inter uh, event and we're not necessarily keeping our young men boxed in. We want to make sure that we introduce them to a, a wide variety of creative, creative aspects. You also mentioned there was a tribute to the fathers that we've lost. And, and this was something that I really wanted to include because we have a number of uh, fathers who are no longer with us. And after the event, I spoke to a young man who was, a young man who was there and he admitted that Father's Day is a bit difficult for him because he no longer has his father. There was another young man there who attended, um, who was anticipating and hoping that he would have been able to be there with his father. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, his father uh, died uh, as a result of gun violence uh, just a few weeks earlier. Mm -hmm. um, so we can't 
neglect the fact that while we're celebrating fathers and fatherhood, there are some persons, it's a soft spot for them because yeah. they don't have their father. And that's where, of course, the community comes in. And that's where the community support comes in and making sure that those individuals still still have a father figure. And the tribute done by Mr. Johanse was Dance With My Father by Luther Vandross. One of the things that I shared on the day, which is a personal story, one of my dreams was always to have my son, who was two, meet his grandfather. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, due to the happenings of COVID, it was really difficult and we never got um, for, for my son to meet his grandfather. He mm -hmm. uh, subsequently passed away. And um, it was important for me to pay tribute to the men that we've lost. And of course, in the back of my head, it was definitely my grandfather. So that's where that aspect came from. Now, you mentioned community, and I think that's something you did an exceptional job of representing with the event in terms of your speakers. Mm -hmm. So walk us through who the speakers for the event were. I mean, they made powerful presentations, each strongly representing their own areas. And yeah. actually, I was amazed to learn that um, the deputy governor mm -hmm is an author now i think i need to yes, get my yes. hands on a book because for you, yeah. it was news to me but of course everybody else was familiar mm -hmm. with that fact so i might i might need to get my hands on yeah. a copy so like you mentioned we had three guest speakers our deputy governor of the virgin islands mr david d archer was one of them and he also brought copies of his books so attendees uh, there were a number of attendees young men who were either graduating from primary school or high school mm -hmm. and the high school attendants the more older ones got an opportunity to, to go away with his pioneering greatness two book and uh, we also had courtney jones uh, pastor courtney jones who yeah. gave some a uh, really phenomenal insight and then the one and only uh, jugu uh, who spoke about his personal experiences now uh, as you mentioned, they were three impactful and powerful speakers, but they all took their presentation from a different aspect. And just mm -hmm. to leave with uh, the audience for those who were not there, um, just some lines that really stuck out to me. It is never too late to be great. Deputy Governor of the Virgin Islands, David D. Archer. Keep the door open, even when it stinks. That was Pastor Courtney Jones, and he was essentially encouraging persons to keep the open dialogue uh, mm -hmm. with your sons and your children open. Sometimes we, we tend to get frustrated and we tend to uh, close that door because yeah. uh, either parties are not willing to listen, but re regardless of the relationship between your child, he was saying that it's important for you to keep that door open. And then of course, our entertainer, uh, Mr. Jugu himself, he spoke about making sure that the love is not only there, but make sure that our sons and our, our children see it and feel it. So as a father, make sure that you're saying it and showing it. Students um, and, 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 and children, sorry, should not have to wonder if their parents love them. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes we know uh, that our parents love us, but we don't necessarily show it. And he was simply saying that it's important for us to show it and say it. Yeah, speaking of showing it and saying it, a very important point you made during the event was that Yes, you know you're celebrated. Yes, you know people are proud of you. Mm -hmm. But even you are discovering the importance of having people say that to you and coming to fully understand and I'm fully believe it, yeah. yeah, people saying that they're proud of you. And you took it a step further to extend that to other individuals with your awards in the show. So I just want to break from our conversation and take us to view how the award presentations went during the event. Many of you know of the um, brand, which is the Art of the Distinguished Gentleman. And today we have four awards that we are going to be um, bestowing on um, four deserving men in our community because we don't say I love you enough, but we also don't give people or give men their flowers and their accolades um, while they can receive it. Um, so we're going to start. I'm going to have Ron talk about the awards. All right, so one of the things that I wanted to do, as Rick mentioned, is simply give persons their flowers while they are still with us. I don't know about you, but tell me you love me now, not, not later. Um, and if I may say, one of the most heartwarming compliments, if you call it a compliment, that I've gotten and I keep getting it now more than ever. And to be honest with you, at first, I was a bit skeptical. I wasn't sure. Uh, but every time somebody would say, Ron, I'm proud of you, I would be like, mm, are you? 
but I think I'm hearing it now enough to believe it. And um, I think it's important. So allow me to begin with the pioneer of the year award, the art of a distinguished gentleman, pioneer of the year award to the man himself who continues to inspire and pioneer in his very own way, contribute to society, our Deputy Governor of the Virgin Islands, David D. Archer, Pioneer of the Year Award. This next award is the Visionary of the Year Award. Um, and we see things in the spirit realm and in the physical realm and we go after it. So the Visionary of the Year Award is being presented to the one and only Pastor Courtney Jones. It gives me great privilege to present the Entertainer of the Year Award to a young man that continues to bless us and impact us through his music. And I hope to God that he continues to receive the blessing and the accolades that he deserves. The one and only Raul Jugusprav, our Entertainer of the Year. The Art of the Distinguished Gentleman would not be complete if we did not name a Distinguished Gentleman of the Year. Um, and this is an individual that um, most of the people in this room should know. You might know him in different capacities. Um, but this award is special um, because we get to say thank you to a very, very hardworking um, man um, in this community um, and I'm going to ask our father to come at this point to receive the Distinguished Gentleman of the Year Award. And if you know anything about my father, his skin is itching because he don't like suits at all. Um, but we got him to wear a suit today and we just want to thank him so much for all the um, work, all the love, all the um, things that he's done for our family. I always tell this story that my father um, was one of the first person that took us to Italy. So my love of travel started when my father was doing his PhD residency and he took our family to Italy for two weeks. Um, and every year since then we've done family vacation. So that's where my love of traveling comes from and just my love of people. So father, on behalf of uh, Myself, Ron, and Kent, we want to thank you so much. Um, and you are our distinguished gentleman of the year and of a lifetime. Um, so we want to thank you and we love you so much. All right, now, what really stood out for me with this was when you brought your father <laughs> on. <laughs> because like your brother was saying, you know, he's not really a man who liked to wear a suit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then as you guys spoke about the experiences you had with your father and how everything has really come to this moment, and he's your distinguished gentleman, not for just this year, but forever. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah. really a great moment, not only to share, but I'm sure for your family as well. It was, and one of the, th the beautiful things about the award aspect, uh, Jaka, it was a total surprise to all of the recipients. Um, I'm sure as guest speakers, they more than likely they thought they would get a token of appreciation, yeah. but it wasn't a token of appreciation. The awards really signified the Art of a Distinguished Gentleman's appreciation in really uh, handpicking and identifying key persons with our community and I want to add that this is something that we intend to carry on as we continue to uh, host these events making mm -hmm. sure that we're honoring uh, various persons so my dad received the art of a distinguished gentleman distinguished gentleman of the year award because a lot of my qualities um, in being who I am I really got from him uh, we had entertainer of the year mr. Um, Raul Jugusprov 
Pioneer of the Year, uh, Deputy Governor of the Virgin Islands, David D. Archer, and Visionary of the Year, Pastor Courtney Jones. It is very important, I think, for us to continue to highlight and promote the positivity in our community, specifically when it comes to men, because it's always a negative, um, and, and it's really just not fair to our society. It's really not fair to the fabric of our community to always highlight the negative. There are some good uh, men and young men out there, and it is my role as the creator and host to make sure uh, that we do that. Okay. Now, of course, you mentioned that this was a start. Mm -hmm. This was the inaugural event. So, for one, can we anticipate that there will be another Sons in Suits brunch next year? And what's next for the distinguished gentleman? Are there any other events coming up? Thank you for that, Jaka. Uh, by far, I think it's only fair that we continue to celebrate fathers in this fashion. Uh, so the community can definitely expect um, another event um, around this time. This will be our signature event uh, okay. for the Art of a Distinguished Gentleman. Mm -hmm. um, it will continue to vary and it will continue to evolve whether it uh, touches various islands, uh, surrounding okay. islands. And when, it looks at, when we look at fatherhood as well, it will also encompass not just sons and suits. Uh, this was our first event, but fathers with daughters will also have an opportunity at some point to celebrate that aspect of their uh, relationship. Of course, mm -hmm. our signature, The Art of a Distinguished Gentleman show, uh, will be returning season five after the festival activities, so persons can look forward to seeing that as well, uh, where we feature 12 of the best and brightest men of various industries um, on our talk show. And of course, our podcast is uh, still uh, very much on target. So if you don't like to sit and watch a, a, a TV show or an interview, the podcast is really, really up your alley. But there's quite a bit going on. Um, November is observed as International Men's yeah. uh, Men's Month and mm -hmm. Men's Day, uh, so we are going to be doing something on the November 19th weekend to uh, commemorate and celebrate International Men's uh, Day. This particular theme is uh, targeting suicide um, and uh, really combating male suicide, uh, so the public can definitely, apart from this signature Father's Day event, mm -hmm. expect something on International Men's Day. I just want to applaud you for that. Um, highlighting International Men's Day and the entire month because we hear it so very mm -hmm. often that of course so many things happen for Women's Day and everybody talks about it but it's like that same kind of energy doesn't go yeah, towards yeah. observations for the men so I'm glad you've identified that and you're taking the action that needs to be taken mm -hmm. in, in that area so of course Absolutely. we're looking forward to everything to come and of course you will be back in this chair <laughs> very soon to tell us what exactly we should expect for that weekend now Not before we close off on the interview i just want to give you a chance to send thanks to anybody who was involved in the event and of course the long-standing collaborators the partners of the distinguished gentleman well once again jack i want to thank you for having me and most importantly i want to thank the entire virgin islands community for coming out and supporting our inaugural sons in suits 2023 quite a phenomenal event quite an impactful event that uh, continues to uh, really seek to solidify and charge the importance of healthy father-son relationships. This event could not be possible without our remarkable sponsors, and I want to take this opportunity to thank our sponsors, our platinum sponsors, CCT and 284 Media, Nagico, our gold sponsors, Unite BVI, Trade Winds and Trellis Bay Market. We have a number of bronze sponsors, including BI Motos, National Bank of the Virgin Islands, Banco Popular, Republic Bank, Omar's Cafe, Mr. Lavor and Letson Group of Companies, Joma Properties, the Honorable Luce Hodge-Smith, Ms. Perlene Scatliff-Leonard, and Mr. Les Moore-Smith. Now, one of the things uh, at the event, Ajaka, is persons, recipients, not only got their gift bags to leave with, but we had a number of gift certificates. So many giveaways so many happened, prizes. yeah. Um, there were almost 30 different prizes, and mm -hmm. that was because of the kind sponsorship and contribution of our community contributors, including CCT, uh, That Bearded Guy, um, Clean Cuts Barbershop, RKS Supplies, Innovation Fashion, Virgin Med Spa, Father's Day Massage. There was a young man uh, who received that and he said this was going to be his first massage. 
Um, so Royal Shop also, Sushi Bar, Nova Vita Apparels, Bananas at King Garden Bay, Lounge 45, the Puma Store at Tortola Pier Park, Urban VI at Tortola Pier Park, Best Cuts Barbershop, Mr. Nice Guy, we had Island Taco, Bless Hands Health Spa, JNC Department Store, Land at Tortola Pier Park, The Base Spot, uh, the Base Spot, Boynes Taekwondo uh, Academy, and Grants Engineering. So again, thank you to all of our contributing sponsors, our community sponsors, and the number of persons uh, who gave up their support um, and time uh, to come on board and make sure that we have a successful event. And thank you so much, Ron, for this interview and sharing this experience with the community and your continued efforts to be that line of change that we want to see for young men coming up and just that avenue to highlight all the positivity that comes from the male community in the Virgin Islands. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. All right. And thank you all for tuning in as well. Stay tuned to 2A4 Media because there's more great content coming up.